Daylight savings time start this weekend and listen, it's impacting your health. Because listen, heart attacks go up, stroke goes up, fatal car accidents go up the Monday following daylight saving time, right? So we're supposed to move our clocks forward, spring forward, right, on Sunday about 2 a.m. for about 300 million Americans. And it's kind of a big deal. I don't think a lot of people realize how much this is impacting your health. Because listen, most of us, our sleep is trash anyway, right? Like we just are not doing the sleep hygiene things that we need to do. We're either not getting enough sleep, we're not getting quality sleep, like we're not protecting our sleep. So let me tell you a few tips and tricks on how you can actually prevent some of these health consequences. So one of the things you can do is actually start gradually changing your sleep time. So you should start doing this three or four days beforehand, but even if you're just seeing this video like a day or two before, you can do this. Bedtime is not just for children, it is also for adults, right? So let's say your bedtime is 10 o'clock every night. Start shifting it a little bit earlier, 9.45 and then 9.30 and then 9.15, right? So you're just doing little 15 or 20 minute increments every day, you're going to bed a little bit earlier, but that by time daylight saving comes and then boop, that clock goes back to 10, your body is already adjusted on Sunday morning, get up, go outside. If you are in a place where it is sunny and you can go outside, like go outside and get some sun as early as you can, like right away. Like don't sleep in bed. It's going to feel good. You're going to want to stay in bed. You're going to be like under the covers and you don't want to get up and you're, you know, your circadian rhythm and your sleep's going to be all like screwed up, but just go outside and get some sun. It'll help snap your body's circadian rhythms back into a normal rhythm a little faster. I know this is really tough because I'm a big nap person. Like I love naps. Um, try to limit your naps. You're going to be tired for a few days. Try to limit those naps to like 20 minutes. Don't over nap so that you aren't tired at night and can't fall asleep. Listen, baby, especially as nurses, like a lot of us love that little half a glass of wine before bed. Had to give that up after the pandemic because I was drinking too much wine. But try to avoid alcohol as much as it can kind of make us sleepy, it actually really impacts our like sleep cycles internally. So we might be asleep, but we're not getting quality sleep after drinking alcohol. And then my final point about all of this is this is a really good time to bring up like sleep hygiene. And I'm such a big fan of sleep hygiene. So sleep hygiene is really just like protecting your sleep. Like you should protect your sleep as ardently as you would protect like not smoking right? Not drinking alcohol in excess, not doing drugs, taking your blood pressure medications, getting exercise, right? Like all of the things that we need to know that we know we need to do for our health. You should be as ardent about that with your sleep as you are about those other things, right? So if you're like, I don't smoke, I don't drink in excess. I exercise. I try to eat well, right? Like I don't do drugs. I take my blood pressure medications, like all those things. You should adding to that list should also be like, I have a bomb. Yes, I use bomb. I have a bomb sleep routine. Bedtime is not just for kids. It's also for adults. So you go to bed at the same time every night. I know that's like a wild thing. You should also sleep in a cool, dark place that is quiet. Get the electronics out of it. Like get the electronics out of the room. I know it's really hard. A lot of us use our phones to a like for noise machines to fall asleep or for alarms or whatever, go ahead and get you a manual alarm and a manual noise machine, like get the phone out of there if you can. Try not to be watching blue light either, like right before you go to sleep, like try not to be watching uh, electronics. It's stimulating your brain. Even if you're one of those people that needs like noise to fall asleep to or you watch TV to fall asleep, you're not getting good sleep is the point, okay? Turn that into a habit, turn all these things into a routine. It's 1030. I go to bed. I turn out the lights. I keep the phone out the room. It's cool in my bedroom. I, you know, sleep naked, whatever you need to do to like that's your comfortable sleeping situation and do that every single night so that it turns into a habit. All right. Be careful, y'all, because listen, daylight saving time, bringing those clocks forward is kind of a thing. So protect your sleep this weekend and, you know, still have some fun.